Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at Messier 3, also known as M3. This is a globular cluster in the constellation Canes Venetici, but can be found between the constellations Coma Berenices and Bootes, found between the two stars Arcturus and Cor Caroli. M3 has an apparent magnitude of 6.2 and is made up of around 500,000 stars and is 11.4 billion years old. Messier 3 orbits the Milky Way galaxy at a distance of 38.8 thousand light years from the center of our galaxy. Now that we have some location information and some details about the cluster, let's do the sketch. I use my 8 inch SCT with an 8 to 24 millimeter zoom at around 14 millimeters for a magnification of 146x. As I was sitting at the eyepiece, I had trouble resolving stars in this cluster. I kept scanning the field of view and I would catch bits of twinkling that I represent as stars. Placement of stars within the cluster are not precise, so with globular clusters I use a stippling technique to place the stars. But I also look for any patterns that help define the globular cluster and place those where they need to be. This sketch I mainly used an HB pencil for star placement, but also varied between many pencils from my 2B to my 8B to represent star brightness the best I could. I also did a bit of smudging and blending in order to get the hazy effect in the background of the globular cluster. That's it for the procedure of sketching, let's have a look at the final result. I brought the image into GIMP, inverted, and added information to the final sketch. I may have overdid it a bit with some of the stippling of the outer stars, which were the stars I caught the twinkling of while scanning the field of view. The inner core of this object is bright, so it's hard to resolve many stars and is very hazy. The core stars that I could make out were very densely packed and really just looked more like brighter bits of fuzziness, which I had some difficulties properly representing. I look forward to doing a few more globular clusters to help work on my technique. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please take a second to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to click the bell notification to be updated when I post new videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.